Right, hi guys. So, for quite a while now, you've probably seen on my YouTube channel the way I sort of video the sort of behind the scenes kind of thing going on. And what I do is I actually utilise the hot shoe on the camera. So it could be either on the A7R4 or on the RX10 Mark IV, which I'm using right now to, to video. And what I've actually got is just a mobile phone holder, like so. And it just sits on the camera there. So basically when I'm recording, you can kind of see what the lens is doing, you know, like so. And basically it allows me to still use the camera fully. And basically I can also video in, you know, pretty well stabilized. And with the iPhone I'm using, iPhone 11 Pro, is, is actually really quite good, especially the stabilization. So when I'm walking around, you can see what I'm doing and how I'm taking the shots. I just thought it's quite a good behind the scenes kind of thing to work. Anyway, um, I'm basically selling my DJI Ronin SC because I just don't use it. I bought a gimbal for a job. The job fell through due to the COVID-19. And this is the DJI sort of phone holder for when you use the, the tracking on it and everything like that. Brilliant piece of kit. It's actually really nicely made. I mean, it's all plastic, but it's actually you know decent quality. You can rotate it and, and things like that. I thought, well, obviously I've got to put that back in the box. And when I sell the the gimbal, which I haven't used at all, other than this has had the most use out of the gimbal than anything. So I thought I need to buy a decent quality phone holder so I can carry on having the camera, uh, the phone on top of the camera, like so. I thought, right, let's have a look online. There's so much junk out there that's ridiculous. There's so much cheap plastic rubbish. I even tried to find one of these as a replacement. You can buy them from DJI, but I thought, I wonder if there's anything on Amazon or eBay or whatever. <clears throat> so I found, eventually, after a little bit of hunting, the, I don't even know how you say the name, uh, looks like Arnark, okay, or Arnark Ock, <laughs> something like that. Basically, it's a metal, which is great. So it's a full metal phone holder but it rotates um, around basically so you can fold it away I've actually just put a, an eyelet there so I can hang it but that's what that's just real I've just realized what that does is actually stops me folding it away properly um, so I'll be taking that off in a minute I should do it now quickly I just thought it'd be quite handy it's got screw holes everywhere so you've got them on the on the uh, bottom there for a, a hot shoe um, sorry like a quick release for your tripod or whatever, or anything you want to stick on there. <clears throat> You've also got a quarter, th quarter inch thread and half, I think it's half inch thread on the bottom as well. The cool thing about it is it's got a lock. So basically it locks that, oh, that's the wrong one, sorry. The dial locks it in place. So you can pull it out, it's two and a half inches, and it will just lock it, which is really cool. So which means once you get your phone in there, you can actually lock it in place so the phone is not going to fall out, which is really cool. The little lever here is actually, that's what I was pushing, it was wrong, is actually the rotation lock. So it can't now move. It's actually a really, really cool bit of kit. It's also got other screw holes and everything in the back there from the other side. And you're probably wondering what this is. This is actually the hot shoe adapter, or cold, it's a cold shoe I suppose. It's actually a small rig swivel mount and what that allows me to do is actually sit it onto the back of the camera, onto the hot chair, whichever camera I've decided to use, like so. It means now I can actually have my phone in place, sitting with the camera in the correct position, like so. And then I can really I can just lock it now, so that literally my phone can't. Move, well, it moves a little bit because it's in rubber, but basically it shouldn't fall out at all, which is really cool. Um, the small rig swivel part, you can literally undo the Allen keys here to rotate it up or down. Um, obviously I've got it down, so basically it's adding view across my lens here, um, and it's sort of out, out to wherever I'm working really. So that, that works really nicely. Um, obviously you can adjust the angle of view and everything like that. So really, really, oh, taking the picture. Really cool. The fact it's made of metal which means it's obviously going to last. And it's also got another cold shoe mount on the top here, 
which I thought was quite handy, which means you can either I can carry on actually sticking my uh, instead of I want to carry on using the hot shoe as such, I could actually put my microphone on top of there and then run it either to my phone or back down to the uh, camera by plugging it in. So you don't lose any. Well, I mean, you do lose a little bit. Obviously, you can't use a flash. Um, but then I would take it off anyway. It's not really an issue. The other cool thing about this adapter or the phone holder is I'll take this out just so you can kind of see. Take the phone out. It's got an Arco Swiss mount on it. So no messing around with quick release adapters or anything like that. It literally straight onto your straight onto your tripod on the Arca Swiss mount, which I use anyway. Uh, which means now I can actually utilise really really well the um, abilities of your mobile phone. Us photographers for years of you know, hated mobile phones because they're getting better and better and better. And yet yeah, they're not, it, they're better than a, a big camera like this in many ways, but also the camera is better than a mobile phone in many ways. And they're both brilliant in their own right. Obviously this is designed to make phone calls and basically be your life. You know, you, you can video, take photos, you can send stuff, you know, you, you know what a mobile phone can do. You can do thousands of things. This is a dedicated, um, piece of equipment which obviously has high-end lenses um, and whatever else you want to stick on it obviously lighting microphones you know there's loads of stuff you can do with these it's also a working tool so it means it's designed to be fitted into the hand properly a mobile phone's never nice to use is it it's just a bit in the hand it's a bit small it's a bit you know it's always too big and you know it's not the same kind of feel as using one of these the brilliant thing about this now is that we can utilize the mobile phone with our cameras you know as photographers so the time lapse for example now I can now literally just slide this onto my tripod set the camera up and do a time lapse really really cool I've got, I haven't got to try and clip it in or leave it on top of my camera and uh, like I was before I'd actually put this adapter on there and I'd actually do a time lapse while I sat on the camera don't necessarily want to do that but I've also always got a small tripod in my car so now if I've got that with me and I've got my mobile phone with me it means I can set it up and do time lapses so that's kind of cool. Um, this bit on its own was about £22. And I think this was about 18 for the small rig. Small rig stuff I've already got a few bits and pieces. It's really nicely made. And this uh, phone adapter, which is obviously made by someone else. Oh, not, oh, I can't even say. It's like Arna. Yeah, it's not even that. It's <laughs> an Arcock, I think. I think that's how you pronounce it. Can you see that? Um... So, yeah, it's really nicely made. You've got adjustable uh, Allen keys in places where you can obviously tweak things back up if you need to. Rubber mounts on all three sides on the grip so your phone's not going to get scratched. And it's machined aluminium, which is really, really cool. So, yeah, I mean, for that much money, I thought it was great. It can go from, to get a phone there, you can go 2.4 inches to 3.7 is the biggest you can get in there. So for me, um, I didn't want a huge phone anyway, so I went for the iPhone 11 Pro. A couple of years ago um, but yeah what a bit of a kit it's absolutely brilliant obviously you don't have to have this small rig bit on it you can just utilize it as is but for me I wanted something I could actually slide it onto the hot shoe of the camera um, but the fact as soon as I read it, it had an Arca Swiss mount I thought ah oh, brilliant and I thought wow oh, hang on a minute I can't put it onto the hot shoe how do I put that onto a hot shoe um, and I saw a small rig adapter and I thought oh, I'll have that as well uh, you know it's brilliant it comes with Allen key the small uh, rig so you can tweak it and do things up so you can set it um, how you want. And also screw things up tight. So you use the Allen key and the holes there to uh, tighten it up. A little bit of leverage. So it's all good. It's a really, really cool bit of kit. You know, you can stick it straight on in whichever way you want. You can go sideways. I can go the other way so you can film my face if I really want to. Not that you'd like me to, but um, it's got obviously the unlock and lock dial. And you've got the lock and unlock lever there. It's just really nicely made, and it's pretty compact. So it's it's hundred or so grams, I would say. It's quite well made in the weighty side of things. Um, yeah. So I just thought I'd show you that, uh, and I will be using it very soon once I get a chance to get out a bit more. At the moment, I'm flat out working. And it's been relentless, so it's literally hence why there's not been very very many videos. But they are coming slowly when I get a bit of spare time to actually sit down in front of the computer and actually have the spare time to actually go through everything. So I haven't forgotten um, about YouTube or anything like that. It's just a case of 
but I'm just flat out busy working. Um, so yeah, but I hope also the weather in England has been pretty atrocious for the last month or so. Just rain every day. It was for a while. It's now better, but you know we were we're struggling a bit. So if you want one of these, I'll find the link again. I mean, in the UK, this is this is what it is, and where I'll put the link in where I've got it from. Um, if you want a phone holder that's also got a tripod mount, it's absolutely brilliant. I, I searched. I took about twenty minutes looking on the internet trying to find something. I just don't want. I don't. I hate buying rubbish. I'd rather buy something good quality that actually you can use and you know it's going to last you rather than spending, say, you know, on one of the cheap. This is not obviously this is a DJI one, but on the really cheap sort of crappy eBay ones that you know it's probably cost you six six or seven quid anyway um, for a really cheap one and it breaks within an hour or two. Most of the time, it's their actual uh, bits here that are um, crap. But this is actually a metal mount on this uh, DJI one anyway. Um, so I just took a couple of pictures with the RX10 Mark IV just to show you what it looks like in sort of real life. It's actually really well made, like I said before, and I'll be out using it very soon when I actually get a chance and a bit of spare time. But it's something that I could have done with ages ago, and it's a shame I didn't know about it before, because having that Arca Swiss mount just allows me to utilize the mobile phone's ability. One, for filming, um, you know, just YouTube channel videos and stuff like that, because it's just handy to have that phone. And just the high quality product, rather than having a piece of plastic that's just going to break eventually, or bad bonding and all that sort of stuff, it's it's just annoying. So having the metal stuff is, is just so much more beneficial, and it's not that expensive. You know, like they say, you buy it once, you know, yeah, you pay the price, but, you know, I probably would have gone through, well, I have broken them in the past actually already. So, you know, I've already gone through a couple of the, pl the cheap plastic uh, mobile phone holders. There you can see the camera view quickly of what I can kind of see from my mobile phone. So that's just in the photo. So it'd be slightly wider with the video on, you know, really wide. It basically allows me to show you guys what I'm doing, where I'm aiming the camera, and stuff like that and what I'm physically doing with zooming or whatever you better see uh, you know what's actually really happening which is what I want to try and show you you know so yeah I hope that's a little bit interesting if you want one it's like I say brilliant for the mobile phone user you know if you've got a tripod over you can literally just put it straight on with the Arca Swiss or you can screw a quick release adapter in there as well having the hot shoe as well is nothing I didn't think about you could put lighting on it so you know you could uh, the adapter at the top there you could actually just put an led light on there as well so it just opens up another avenue of uh, use really so anyway um any questions about it i'll put the link in below where i got it from it's on amazon um and the small rig thing as well the swivel mount which you kind of need if you want to use it on top of a camera with the uh you know using the cold shoe hot shoe adapter there it, you know it's not a huge amount of money i don't think for something you're, i'm going to use and use it a lot so it's going to last last its life really so anyway, uh, don't forget to click the subscribe button, little notification bell as well, and look out for new videos coming very soon. Please check out the old videos I've put up already, and uh, that's it. Thank you very much. Cheers.